Stay tuned in the end for the instructor's summary and thoughts. We're gonna install our intake manifold and we've went ahead and cleaned these surfaces up really good and we've got our multiple pieces here. So this is our manifold as an we have to think of this as as it's on the vehicle. So this goes to the front cylinder and this goes to the rear cylinder. With that in mind, you're gonna see here that on these uh on this manifold, do you see where there's an F? Yep. So that's your front uh, manifold there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and set this like so. And we're going to take a new seal. We're going to take our seal and just put a little bit of grease on there so that it'll be able to move around and not tear. And then you take your seal and you just slide it around here. And as we tighten this up, you'll see what's going to happen is it's a compression fitting that's going to go against the cylinder head and it's obviously going to seal between the face of the head because this will get somewhere along here and then that cone shape is going to seal this manifold flange to the manifold giving us a real nice seal but there's a couple steps we need to do to be successful on that so let me go ahead and do the other side real quick I can't stress enough how clean this area it needs to be clean. There's another thing about these flanges that I've seen over time that can be a problem is that when, when somebody tightens these, over tightens them, like anytime we install fasteners, you guys know this, we're going to take it, pull both of them down evenly until they kiss and then we're going to fully tighten them, right? Yep. Well, if somebody takes this one really, you know, and snugs it all the way down and then tries to pull this one down, you're going to bend the flange. And so one thing I like to do, I'm just using the bench as an example, is I try and see if I can rock this. Do you see how this is really nice and flat? And I couldn't put feeler gauges under here or anything because this is nice and straight. If I could take this and wobble it, I would absolutely have to replace it. So you got to check your flange integrity. The next thing we have here is we're going to go ahead and just rotate these around so that our uh, cutouts are ready for our bolts and we just slip them back behind there. And everything about this is where you're gonna find success in mounting all this up. Where people go wrong is they just start tightening stuff. And if you just start tightening stuff, you're going to end up having it offset. I'll show you here in a second. So what I'm doing is literally getting everything just Hand, hand tight and everything even. You see how the intake manifold can go from left to right? Yep. Okay, so we're just kissed, and what we want is we want an equal amount of distance in between here. If I take and suck one all the way over metal to metal, it's not going to let the rubber compression ring do its job. You see that? And then on the other side, it's going to really weaken the amount of real estate that it has available to tighten it up there. So take this manifold and just, just lightly set it. We just want this, like I said, just snug so that you get the same amount of real estate on that manifold. All right, now here's where people get into trouble again, too, is they think they can tighten that. You cannot tighten it. What you need to do at this point is you need to build up your carburetor. We're going to put a new seal on there. We're going to take our carburetor. This is going to come back off. All right, when I go to install my air box on here, we put a new gasket in here, and then we have O-rings in here that are really important. If you drop those O-rings or lose them, we're not going to have a good seal right here, which you'll see in a second. So I'm going to take this here, and I'm going to just, like I said, everything is just a loose fit at this point, okay? going to try and do, you can let go, okay, is I'm going to go ahead and just work on threading these in, making sure that that o-ring doesn't slide out of place. Okay, watch, watch this. Can you see how I can move that around and I'm, I'm changing this gap in here? Yep. Okay. What we're doing is we're lining up that manifold and the carburetor and the air box and everything so that it's unstressed. Are you with me? Because if I go ahead and tighten these down and, and pull this gap and suck the carburetor all the way into that spigot, that's going to set this manifold 
uh, it's going to set the manifold right in the middle of the engine. Okay, so I'm going to have real equal distance because this is all this is all machined and engineered so that this carburetor and all this fits right in the middle, right? Yep. So it's going to basically set that in the middle, and I don't have to assume what the distance is so that I get that equal gap on the on the seals. Pretty cool. So with this in place, then I can go in, I can tighten this up, torque it to the spec with my carb not in the way, and it won't move around. I'm gonna get it pretty snug and pretty close. It's like an eight to 12 foot pound. It's gonna be uh, pretty dang close to that just by me doing it by hand, but I'll go ahead and model that right now. Got a couple different tools here that we can use, and you can really see how nice and even the manifold gaps are here, okay? The, the camera angle is a little deceiving, it almost looks like it's bigger right here with the camera angle straight on there. That baby is about as perfect as it can get, but we'll see once we tighten it, tighten it up fully here. So I'll go ahead and just, like I said, these are can be a little awkward. I want to make sure that I'm only doing, you know, like a quarter turn at a time. So that's one way I can do it. And then let me show you a different tool. And this one's pretty cool because it has a, a ball end or a straight, okay? And the position we're in here, we're gonna try and see. This has forward and tightening capability. I'm gonna go here. Okay, I got a quarter turn out of that, so I'm gonna quit. And I go up here, and what you'll notice is my carburetor bracket is really in my way to allow much movement here. So do you see where we're at a point where we could really take the carb off? Okay, I got quite a bit of movement out of that one. Another option, this is where having lots of tools come in handy. You can see here, I've got a uh, ball end on an Allen on a 3H drive. I go here, and then I can go ahead and get it tight there. That gap's kind of, you know, obviously getting larger as we tighten it down yep. because it's compressing. Notice how even it looks now. Mm -hmm. from side to side so we it, it's going to end up being perfect and we don't have to worry about it at all now if I try to get in here at this I'm going to be able to get you know snug turns but there is no way that I could torque that thing if I try and torque that with that ball socket on there and now my sensor's in the way give it a tug here I'm going to do the same thing on the other side take the car back off now I don't have to worry about any alignment issues this is 8 to 12 foot pounds. We're already kissed. So we're going to do 120 to 144. Don't forget, get your breathers hooked up in here. Now we're gonna be using this for a class here to do some different testing. So we are not gonna Loctite this, but it calls for a 243 blue. All right, let's make this run. All right, in summary, uh, just final notes for uh, entry-level technicians really is that Anytime we're assembling something, we really have to think about how to pull all those pieces together without stressing them. And uh, I mean, just great examples of this to look back and, and try and really grasp this as if you've ever put furniture together, especially a desk or play sets or, or anything. If you ever, you know, took and, and pulled fasteners all the way tight, you realize that by the time you got to the other ones, on the other side, you really had to stress that piece to align that bar, that bracket, or that shelf, or whatnot, and it was difficult, and it was trouble, and you you either loosened the other side, or you fought it like crazy until you got it to go. Well, let's think about how we can uh, be mechanics, and we can just pull everything together, nice and easy, not stressful, kiss everything, un you know unstressed, and then be able to pull it to that final torque that they know is going to give us a lot of miles, it's going to be able to handle the vibrations, handle the loads, and uh, make for happy miles. So I just want to say uh, keep on wrenching, and I, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, subscribe to the channel below and uh, leave comments. Make it great.